Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about interest rate parity. Before we understand the principle of interest rate parity, we need to have a distinction between the spot rate and the forward rate. Spot rate is the exchange rate between currencies for immediate settlement. That is, the transactions should happen now. What is the exchange rate when the transaction will happen now? On the other hand, we have forward rate. Forward rate is the exchange rate agreed upon now for settlement in a specified future date. Meaning, we have to agree in advance what the exchange rate between the currencies are now for settlement in the specified future date. So say for example, the spot rate is 1 US dollar equals to 50 pesos. We might have a 30-day forward rate 1 US dollar equal to 50.79 pesos. You have to understand that the spot rate and the forward rate may vary. In other words, they are not necessarily the same. But the question is why? Why is it that the forward rate is not necessarily equal to the spot rate? This is where interest rate parity, IRP, comes in. This principle states that Investors are expected to earn the same return, that is interest, in all countries after adjusting for risk. This explains why a forward rate can be different from the spot rate, that is, it may be at a premium or a discount. To understand this principle better, let us have a demonstration. Say, for example, that we have the following spot rate. 1 US dollar is equal to 50 Philippine pesos. Say that the Philippines' treasury bill rate is 5% per annum and the US treasury bill rate is 2% per annum. Note that the interest rate for risk-free securities are different in the Philippines and in the U.S., notwithstanding the fact that they are both government-issued. If IRP is true, we are expected to earn the same interest whether we invest in the Philippines or in the United States. But you noted that the interest rates are different. This is where the forward rates will be adjusted. As a result, the forward rates will be adjusted in order for us to earn the same return. This is what the interest rate parity is all about. So let's say, for example, we invested $1 in the US and $1 in the Philippines. In the US, the Treasury bill rate is 2%. After a year, we're expected to earn 1 plus 0 0.02 that would give us 1.02 dollars if that dollar was converted to pesos and invested in the philippines after a year it will earn 1.05 so 50 times 1.05 for the five percent we have 52 pesos and 50 centavos again According to interest rate parity, whether we invest in the United States or in the Philippines, we should arrive at the same return. As a result, the one-year forward rate will be $1.02 equals to 52.50 Philippine pesos. So if we are going to express this in a direct quotation from a Philippine perspective, that is, the US dollar is 1, divide both sides by 1.02, you would have $1 is equal to 51.47 Philippine pesos. Note that 
the one-year forward rate is different from the spot rate. Again, the spot rate is $1 is to 50 pesos. The one-year forward rate is $1 is to 51.47. Let us extend this to those forward rates that are going to be settled in less than one year. Say, for example, a six-month forward rate. All we have to do is to adjust the interest rates. If this is only good for six months, then the United States Treasury bill will only give us 1% return after half a year and the Philippine T-bill rate 2.5% after half a year. So doing the math, we have 1 times 1.01 for the dollar invested in the U.S., and 50 times 1 plus 0 0.025 for that dollar invested in the Philippines. After 6 months, we would have 1.01 US dollars is to 51.25 Philippine pesos. So this is the 6-month forward rate. In order to express this as a direct quotation from a Filipino point of view, divide both sides by 1.01 you would have $1 is equal to 50.74. This is the expected six-month forward rate. Again, what we did here is just we divide the annual rates by two in order to have the six-month forward rates. So if you're going to notice, there is a relationship here. If you are going to look at the forward rate over the spot rate, this is basically equal to 1 plus the interest rate in the Philippines over 1 plus the interest rate in the U.S., whether you look at it at uh, 6 months or 1 year. So you would have... 50.74 over 50, this is just the same as 1.025 over 1.01. This is for the 6-month rate. For the 1-year full rate, you would have 51.47 over 50. This is equal to 1.05 over 1.02. If you would notice, we can make the following generalization. Assuming that we are expressing the quotes in direct form, forward rate direct quotation over spot rate direct quotation, this is equal to 1 plus the interest rate at home over 1 plus the interest rate in a foreign country. Again, interest rate parity can be generalized through the following formula. Direct quotation form forward rate over direct quotation spot rate. This is equal to 1 plus the interest rate at home over 1 plus the interest rate in the foreign country. So that would be it for our discussion in interest rate parity. Thank you for listening. Like this video if you find this helpful. Hit that notification bell to be updated for future videos.